the atmosphere has just completely changed over the last 10 years in the sense that walking and cycling has become very natural and very normal for everyone. It's important to show at the inhabitants, the car drivers, the, the cyclists, that we mean it. In Ghent we have a good tradition of spatial planning. You need it for the whole city and you need it for neighborhoods. There's more and more people biking here in Ghent, uh, especially since the circulation plan in the city center became a lot calmer, uh, much more space for bikers to go, less cars. The circulation plan was really needed because there was a lot of problem uh, in the city with congestion, but also with livability. To meet people, to have a nice time, that's uh, what the city is about. The circulation plan is very important for Ghent, very important for life quality. We have an, an area where there are seven parts uh, there is a car-free zone in the center and then six parts around it. For pedestrians, for cyclists, uh, for public transport, nothing changed. But for car drivers, something changed. If they wanted to go from one part to another part, they had to go to the ring road. There was no connection between the parts uh, possible with the car. So you get fewer cars. We are here at the R40, as we called it in Ghent, uh, which is the inner ringway. If you have to go from one section to another section, you have to pass via this uh, ringway. Uh, this means that you see a lot more cars here. So since the circulation plan has been introduced, we can see that there's absolutely a decrease in the number of cars in the city, an increase in walking and cycling. It also goes hand in hand with the parking measures that have been introduced. So we have more parking on the border of the city and people just walking or cycling or using public transport to enter the city. The circulation plan was actually part of the mobility plan that also included the parking plan, a plan to enroll a cycling network in the city of Ghent. And the targets within the mobility plan were set on 35% of cycling in uh, 2030. Now, two years after the circulation plan, we have a mode share of 35%, which was actually the target for 2030. So it seems that we have to uh, rethink about the targets. We're standing at the uh, Kopure, which is the busiest bike street in Ghent. And before it was too narrow, like you see there's this uh, narrow passage on the side. People were biking there. It became impossible to pass on both directions. So now uh, bikers are driving on the streets, just uh, beside there. Uh, and they've got the whole street for them. It became a bicycle street by law also, which means cars can't overtake bikers anymore. So they have the whole space of the street uh, just for them. Uh, speed limit is 30 km uh, an hour here. That way you see that cyclists are taking it a little bit over and it is quite safe and you don't always need separate bike lanes. If you want to set up a cycling street, you really need a street with a low intensity of cars. And actually the circulation plan gave us the chance to increase the number from eight cycling streets in 2017 to 18. We can uh, go by bicycle to our working place, to school and uh, so on. 20 years of consequent politics in that direction to make it a sustainable and a social uh, city also. And you can just let children walk and cycle alone to school for example. So working on modal shift is really important and making sure that this mind shift is there, that people just automatically choose sustainable modes of transport. 30% of the inhabitants of Ghent don't own a car anymore and raising their kids with the idea it's not necessary to have a car. Kent has an ambition to be the, the, the biggest city of car sharing systems so hopefully in the future the, the, the new generation will be used to that idea that you can use a car whenever it's needed uh, but you don't have to own it. We have many rivers in, in Ghent and in, in the 60s they filled up the rivers to get parking space for cars. One year ago this was still a parking for cars and uh, we reopened the, the river. We, this is important that, uh, that we, we give water a place in, in the city. If you get parking spaces away it's always a battle. For people who are uh, parking, it's also it's always very important they have their space. 
but what is uh, amazing is that the moment the parking spaces are away, the city is still living and everything is still working. This is a new piece of infrastructure to uh, get cyclists and pedestrians on a safe uh, manner uh, to the city centre because it was very hard for, for people who are living at the eastern side of uh, the city to get in the centre and now with uh, this underpass it's possible to get in the centre on a safe manner. A lot of cars means a lot of pollution. Um, the city council really uh, wanted to try to do something else and to be really innovative. For me, Utrecht and uh, Groningen are um, example cities, iconic cities for pedestrians and, uh, and cyclists. But the, what they have done is amazing. Well, at one point uh, we got a call from the vice mayor of Ghent and he was interested in what we were doing uh, in Utrecht uh, with the bicycle program. Uh, so my vice mayor, she invited him and we showed him around. And uh, he liked what we were doing very, very much. They have such a high uh, level of quality and that was very hard for us to, to get at that same level. So what we did is not to get the same things as in Utrecht because it should take 10, 20, 30 years also. We took a shortcut and with the circulation plan we made space for pedestrians and uh, cyclists without the hard and uh, expensive infrastructure. And this plan worked very well and the inhabitants accepted it as well. Some little adjustments were done but in general I think he did a real good job I think. So we heard one of the places where they cut it a street in two. Before this used to be a road where you could go in both directions with a car. Now you can't anymore. With a bike you can still pass and there's also still space for the buses and taxi drivers uh, to go over this bridge, but normal cars can't go anymore. They use cameras here. The camera reads the license plate of the car and then they get a fine afterwards if they did cross. So they place these things here, these planters, these benches, so people can sit here, but also to show that it is not longer a road where cars can pass in both directions to make it a sign like here you have to stop and have to turn around or go another way. Here this is one of the most important cuts we made. Uh, you can't get from one uh, area to another but if they come with a car in the city center they get in and immediately they get out. Very simple. The, the cut is signed by the, the red strips, the traffic signs, the red blocks there and sometimes there are um, how do you call it play elements and this is better also for, for cyclists. If they come here, there are almost no cars, except uh, services and taxis. All that period, two and a half years, there was uh, much debate and a very rough debate. I had some dead threats, so this was not, not, uh, not easy for me. The first day when the circulation plan went live, uh, there was national media coverage and they all went uh, to GAN to see will it work. There was a lot of commotion in the city about what would happen. Uh, a lot of people thought GAN would die, that nobody would come to GAN anymore, all the shops would have to close. A lot of people, even Dutch people, told me, well, the plan that you're going to implement that's political suicide one year before the elections. You can't do that. They really went with a very negative image. It won't work, guys, you see, we're gonna say it won't work. But the truth was, it really went very smooth. The moment it started, on April 2017, everything changed. After that rough period of two and a half years, I came outside with the journalists. I took a trip with the bike uh, through Ghent and everywhere people said congratulations, uh, very good, we are very pleased with it. After that, national media really needed to change, to admit that it is a good plan and it's working. I also got emails from, for example, parents that said thanks for introducing the circulation plan. It's actually the first time that I'm really happy with just 
my kids on the streets and I'm not anxious anymore when they are biking. If there is political will to make really good changes towards more walking and cycling and really making the city more pleasant and happy, um, that also on political uh, level people get rewarded for it. If you design a city for cars, you get cars. If you design a city for people, you get people. In earlier times, this was a street full of cars. It was a very popular street for car drivers. And what we will do is uh, to expand the park just to the front of the water. Be next time you come to Ghent, there will be no street anymore. There will be a park and, and the water. So and that's quality, to get public space for people, water, green.